Hi everyone. Welcome to Frappe School. I am Lynette Sheridan and this is the 8th chapter in our advanced accounting course. In this chapter, we will be discussing multi company management in ERP next. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to set up multi companies in ERP next, maintain hierarchy within the company, set up a chart of accounts that enables consolidation in accounting reports. Unico Plastics has been producing furniture for a while now and has gained wide experience in the domain. The acquired knowledge has given them the confidence to venture into new businesses related to plastic processing which allows them to maintain the quality of products better. The first entity launched is Unico Green. This unit gets the old plastic furniture and recycles them into pet chips which can be further used for making plastic products. Since this is a separate legal entity, it operates as a subsidiary of Unico Plastics and has its own book of account. The second entity launched is Unico Polymers. This unit buys out the polymer granules and further processes them to produce polythene. Again, it is a separate legal entity and one of the subsidiaries of Unico Plastics. Now, let's check out how we can create these two companies within the same ERP Next instance in a way which ensures we can also get consolidated reports on a group level. We already have a company called Unico Plastics. Now, we have to create subsidiaries under this group company. Unico Plastics will first have to be set as a group company. So let's open Unico Plastics and ensure that it is set as a group company. We should also ensure all the group accounts which would be acquired in the child companies are created accurately. This will help us to get the chart of accounts for a child company that resembles the group company. Now that we have a group company, we can add subsidiaries as a child company. First, we will add Unipolymers. Let's go to the company list from the awesome bar and add new company. Enter the company name. Since this is a child company, ensure to select Unico Plastics as a parent company. Once this is selected, the values in these fields will set the parent company here which ensures this new company will have the same group and ledgers in this company as well. ERP Next allows you to have a different currency for the subsidiary compared to its parent. For now, let's proceed with the same currency. We will save our first subsidiary and move ahead. Similarly, we will also create Unico Greens which will be one of the subsidiaries of Unico Plastics. Now that we have two companies in this ERP Next site, let's see the tree structure to see the relationship between child and parent companies. As per this configuration, New accounting ledgers will only be created through the parent company which is Unico Plastic. This is to ensure uniformity in the chart of accounts so that consolidation can be done at the financial statement level. However, if you want to create some accounting ledger in the subsidiary directly which creates it in the parent, we can do that by enabling this setting in the company master. In this particular case, if an account of a subsidiary is not found in the respective parent, its balance is accumulated in the immediate group ledger of the parent company. This brings us to the end of the 8th chapter of our advanced accounting course. I hope this helped you understand 
how we can create multiple subsidiaries under one parent company in ERP Next and generate consolidated financial statements seamlessly. You can read more about ERP Next on docs.erpnext.com. In the next chapter, we will discuss closing accounting books. Thank you.